Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought we'd talk about lips. I've been in a weird kind of lipstick phase. It's always the transition seasons that get me. In the spring, I was craving like deeper, darker, kind of like moodier lips, which made no sense for the spring. I mean, listen, there are no rules in makeup. You can wear whatever it is you wanna wear no matter what the season, but it was just a little off, you know? Like the spring, we want brighter, pops of pink, peach. That's normally my vibe. One of my favorite lipsticks for the summer was Charlotte Tilbury in Candy Chic. There is one Charlotte Tilbury that I'm gonna mention in the more moodier shades, but this was my shade like all summer and I'm definitely gonna swatch all the lipsticks for you, but you can see it's a pink, a very pink, light pink. Beautiful for the summer, really complimented my tan skin. But now I'm finding as I'm dressing for fall, now it's still pretty warm out today. It's like 78 degrees. It feels like it's 85. Like the fall weather has not committed to being here on the East Coast full time, but my wardrobe has shifted. I might still be wearing linen shirts like this, but this aside, I've been wearing a lot of dresses that are sleeveless, that are just of a kind of more autumnal palette. So just imagine I'm in more autumnal clothes, okay? But anyway, so today, Mike and I went out when I'm filming this, it's Sunday. We went to a little wine fest. This was the bag that I brought with me in case any of my bag lovers out there were curious. I actually just bought a new bag from J. Crew, which I did not know J. Crew was as good as it is. I am a recent J. Crew consumer customer, I should say. But this was the bag that I used today. It is a Gucci vintage D-ring pouch. This is the D-ring. I don't know, like, are you supposed to hang something from this? Let a girl know. I would do like a cute bag charm, but I don't know. I feel kind of like both ways about a bag charm. I just don't know if that's my vibe, but I don't know what I'm supposed to hang from this. Obviously in my bag is my lipstick. Now they're going to be a mix of indie brands, high-end brands, and also drugstore brands. So today's lip was drugstore. I'm wearing e.l.f. I love their O-Face lipsticks. They're like a satin formula, very beautiful. And this is in the shade Own It. So this is what's on my lips. I mean, I did just apply it. I have to tell you, the point on these is unbelievable. I do like to line my lips, but I don't even think you need a lip liner, like, cause these are so pointy. You can just point it where you need it, like the cupid cell, and then follow through. This color is so beautiful. It layers on top of itself really beautifully. So I was out all day today. I always reapply my lipstick. I commit to the lip for the day. It is not like a one and done for me. I always, always, always reapply my lipstick and I shamelessly always have a mirror. So this is my little San Francisco mirror that I bought when we were in San Francisco. This was me at the farm for the wine tasting event today, fixing up my lips because I also feel like when you commit to darker lipstick, you have to fix it up. You know, it gets on the teeth, it gets on your clothes. Basically, the point of this video is I decided that, again, it is a transition season. We are in fall and I just want moodier lipsticks. So again, this is in the shade Own It. Pretty, pretty red. It's red, but it's kind of like berry. I think it's perfect for this season. It's like a beautiful kind of like Halloween, Thanksgiving, like we're vibing into the bright, Christmas holiday reds. I love a bright red around Christmas time, especially when my skin is pale. I love a red lip on all skin tones, but I love a red lip on me when I'm just like ghostly. I don't know what it is. The kind of like contrast between my skin and the lip is kind of like stark and shocking. I love it. But anyway, so I'm gonna take this off. These lipsticks, while I did apply it all day long, it kind of does stain your lips. So it really doesn't go anywhere. I applied just like mainly in the middle all day today cause I was eating, I was drinking. The pigmentation in these is so beautiful. It's so fluid. I love a lot of drugstore lipsticks. Honestly, I love drugstore more than I love high-end lipsticks just because I feel like Revlon does a really good job. Elf does a really good job. But these are probably my favorite lipsticks that you will find at the drugstore. I'm not gonna wear a lip liner today because I want you to see the lipsticks themselves. Now I would pair a nude kind of like a shade that matches the shadows in my face. So personally for me, like Max Strip Down or Honeybee Gardens in Island Spice, those are just 
just you can wear any one of these lipsticks with just a nude kind of complimentary lip liner. I'm gonna go a little bit lighter. We're gonna go light to dark here. Very comfortable. This is by Merit in the shade Baby. Now this is kind of like a cool toned brownish, kind of pink though. I just, it's hard to explain. It's a little bit lavender, but not. Can you see? But the formula on this is so comfortable. These do not last long. So this is a lipstick where, you know, you don't need to be so precise with the application, you know? It's very creamy, very comfortable. It's like a creamy lipstick feel. However, this doesn't last very long. As you eat, as you drink, it fades. So just know that if you go for one of the Merit Signature lipsticks, you will need to reapply these. Now that is kind of a gripe for me. Again, I don't mind reapplying, but I think you need to reapply pretty often with these. But I have met so many people in the wild. I will never forget, Mike and I went to Napa one year and I got this lipstick. It was like the first time I had ever tried Merit. Merit sent me some of their products and I saw this girl whip her lipstick out of her bag and she was standing right next to me at a tasting. And I was talking to her, she whipped it out of her bag and I was like, oh, how do you like that lipstick? Cause at the time I was learning about Merit. I had just started using Merit and I like to hear what other people think. I was doing a little bit of due diligence myself, okay? And she was like, I love it. She, and she said, um, I have to reapply it multiple times, but the packaging is so beautiful. She's like, I don't mind. The color is beautiful. The formula is so comfortable. But again, she said that you need to reapply it. If you're someone where you leave your home and you don't reapply your lipstick, I do not recommend this. But if you're someone who will throw your lipstick in your bag, reapply as you go throughout the day. Like I kind of like reapplying. It just, I like to have the option also. Does that make sense? Like I like to be able to throw it on and then reapply it once, maybe twice. Very, very long winded way to say that this is not a very long lasting lipstick. Is the lighting okay? No, that's too bright. It's a constant struggle here, but this is the lip. Now I like this because it's a nude. It's a very wearable nude, but it's not a peachy nude. And I am finding that I'm trying to get away from the super pink, super peachy nudes. I thought that they were complimentary for me, but I think since going a little bit darker with my hair, I need something that's a bit more like moodier, you know? So very wearable, very everyday but a little bit more tamed, a little bit more, I don't know. It complements my hair. I don't know what it is. I've never tried this one, so I'm very excited to try it for the first time. This is Belle and Argent from San Francisco, California. I don't know, I probably just butchered that. In the shade Three Plays. Now this again looks a little moody. I can't really tell you anything about this because I've never tried it. Now that's a little bit pinker. Hmm. I don't know if this is gonna fit the bill for my moody lips, but since we've already committed, let's throw her on. Oh my God, it's like literally the color of my lips. Oh my God, that's so crazy. It feels a little bit drier than Merit, but I do like that. Wow, I could just throw this on my lips and call it a day. That is literally the color of my lips. That's actually crazy. Can you see that? Wow, well, it's a little bit lighter. I don't know. I don't really think that this is, I will wear this for sure, but I don't really think that this is fitting the bill of the description, but I like that it's a magnetic top. I like how retro this is, very cool. Now, the next one is also a lighter color. This is more of an indie brand, Lovecraft Beauty, which I love their bronzer palette. I've talked about it so many times. I've worn this before. This is Lovecraft Beauty in the shade Fosta. A little vibey, definitely peachy but like a darker brown. I feel like this could be. Yeah, it's like vibey. I just want, not nude. I want like nude adjacent. It's a nude, but it's got a little bit of an attitude. I like that. What do we think? Yeah. I mean, if you were to pair it with like, let's just pair it while we're here. If you were to pair it with a darker lip liner, MAC cork. Maybe like a MAC cork, just like around the vend. Just to show you like the power of a lip liner. That's a great combo. I will have to remember this. Thank God we put it on camera. I will say, I think that's a matte lipstick. It doesn't feel like super drying, but it doesn't feel very hydrating either. So depending upon what you're looking for in a lipstick, that might deter you from it. Now, another e.l.f. lipstick. I love this color. This might be my favorite color. This is again in their O Face in Standing Ovation. Now this is a vibey color, a brown, kind of like mauve but like it just takes my lips and bumps it up a notch. Ugh. 
this is the lipstick i love this i think this is the perfect kind of nude that i'm looking for just something that again gives a little bit of a moody vibe now these are satin they're not hydrating but they're not super super drying on the lips and again like i said before same kind of formula as the lipstick that i wore to this video the lipstick that i was wearing all day in the shade own it you can apply this you know like sometimes when you apply a lipstick over itself and it kind of like builds up in the corners of your lips it gets to the point where you need to take it all off before reapplying it again these never ever ever do that i find that i need to do that sometimes with charlotte tilbury lipsticks or even my nyx fat lip oils or my elf lip oils they kind of like build up upon themselves at which point i need to take them off and reapply so the beauty of this is that all you need is this and a mirror and you can reapply all day long Ooh, i like this color i have it in a trial size by mac and every season i say to myself so why don't you wear this lipstick? And I don't know why. I find like I don't really reach for travel size lipsticks. Like they're so cute, but I don't know what it is. Normally it's the packaging. I don't like the packaging. This is MAC in the shade Mocha. Let's put her not all the way up so she breaks. But again, a moody kind of lipstick. It's like a little bit lighter than the last one I put on, but that's pretty. It's kind of a little bit it looks a little lighter on my lips. I feel like if I were to pair this with a little bit of MAC cork, it would just give the contrast, yeah, between the lipstick and my skin tone. That is a mood. Oh, I like that. Guys, be sure to let me know which are we liking, which are we hating. I definitely want to hear from you guys. I feel like I'm on a revamping myself journey. Like the transition months come and I just like step into this new version of me. In the fall and the winter, I tend to go a little bit like grungier. I don't know. We've talked about this in so many of my vlogs, but I've been really like honing in on waking up, getting dressed, like looking my best for the day because I feel like that really helps to put me in a better mental space. I feel like I kind of like wake up in the morning and put on like my boss outfit, my boss lipstick, and it's like I'm, it helps me pretend in my brain like it tricks me into believing that i'm ready for the day when i'm having complete shit days so i just want the lipstick vibe to match i'm tired of being like timid and i feel like this is what happens with beauty though especially if you're someone that lives in an area where you experience all seasons like i become a different person with each season the summer i want to be like cutesy laid back like lip glosses like letting my skin shine and then the second it hits the end of september into october i'm like give me the smoked out eyeliner give me the smoked out eyeshadow you know nothing crazy i don't like to look over the top but all of this to say i let my lipstick do a lot of the talking in my life so i'm kind of like ready to leave the cutesy peaches behind not that anything's wrong with that i just i also think the fact that my hair is different now you know i went from super blonde for me to now i'm kind of like a, a brunette like caramelly a little ready i'm shifting you know and i think it's healthy to shift charlotte tilbury this is the only charlotte tilbury lipstick that i have i don't love these i feel like they kind of build upon themselves but i do love the packaging this is a trial size i will tell you do not ever buy charlotte tilbury trial size lipsticks the bullets the lipstick itself comes out of the bullet it's just a mess but this is in the shade pillow talk medium and i like this better than i like pillow talk sassier vampier these like glide across the lips but they feel it feels so matte to me if you've ever i don't know how kylie what are they called you know the liquid lipsticks that she came out with the lip kits that she came out with like years and years and years ago i have not tried them since i lived in my apartment i don't even know i moved out in 2018 so it's been a long time five even like maybe six years i have not tried a kylie lip kit but if you, did you hear my, did you hear my text message? It's my cat's meow. Yes. And it's funny because sometimes I'll be sitting in here with my door closed and I'll get a text message and I think it's my cat like crying on the outside of my door. So I'll go to like let him in and he's not there. Sometimes Mike and I think like something's wrong and he's like meowing to find us or something, but it's just my, it's just my text tone because I love him so much. I am a crazy cat lady. But see, it's like a brownish, mauve -y, almost, I don't know, like, burgundy 
but can you see we got a lot of different colors but it's very different than the first one like this was my summer phase and now these are gonna be my fall winter phases well fall beginning of winter and then like once the deep winter comes i think i'm gonna just switch to like holiday reds because i just need to trick myself into being one of those like christmas obsessed people to get through the dark dungeon days just i don't know me my life is a lot about me tricking myself mentally into being into things that i'm not very into that doesn't sound great but sometimes you gotta fake it till you make it even when you fake it against yourself so this is pretty i like this um i just like i just don't love the charlotte tilbury formula i'm not into the hype i just feel like lipsticks have advanced so much especially in recent years and even Charlotte Tilbury, like I really, really like the one that I wore this summer. The formula just feels different. This is more of like a satin finish to me. It doesn't say, but it is candy chic. Does it say like if one's like matte or something? No, it doesn't say, but I will link all of the lipsticks, all of the lipsticks that I mentioned down below. I have two more. Which one do I want to do? Let's do this NARS one. Now I bought this in the spring when I was going through my crisis of I like dark lipsticks. Now this is almost like a brownish kind of purple tone. It kind of reminds me of what's left over at the bottom of a Cabernet Sauvignon, like the glass, like a deep red, like an aged deep red wine. And we all know I love red wine. I actually should bring this to Napa, but this is NARS Soft Matte Tinted Lip Balms. This is in the shade Touch Me. Now, I like this a lot. It is a moody, but it's also like wearable because it's a lip balm. It's tinted and you could just keep going and going and going, but I kind of like how it gives that bitten effect. I like it with my hair. I think it would look beautiful with MAC cork. If you want me to throw some on, I shall. Like I just... And something about this lipstick feels very like easy, breezy. I just, I really like that. I want to curate like a moody lipstick collection. And this, yeah, this is moody. I like this. I feel like this might be like my go-to lipstick for the fall. What do we think? Let me know down below. And like, it's makeup. I don't take makeup too seriously. So if you don't like something, please tell me. Like I want to hear because sometimes I rock things and then I look back and I'm like, what, what was she thinking? I don't know, but this I do like, and I would love to hear your opinion. And if you have a lipstick that you wear every day, if it's moody or not, I wanna hear it. Leave it down below in the comments. Like, what are we all wearing on a day-to-day -day basis? I gotta be honest, I've been wearing a lot of Revlon Bear It All in, I forgot what number it is, but that's just like, I should really include that. It's not really moody, but it's like the perfect transitional period lipstick. It's right here, let's just throw it on. Yeah, this is 755 in Bear It All by Revlon. I love a Revlon lipstick. I love a Revlon lipstick. It's like a good transition. It's not super pink. It's not super peach. It's kind of like a toned down lipstick. So on the days where it's been like 80 degrees, but I'm wearing a fall inspired outfit, I paired this which is like a pretty, it's a light nude. It is a really light nude, but I'll pair this with something like Max Strip Down, which is like my perfect kind of like go-to color, just to give a little bit of dimension. And it's just flattering. You know, it's not like a summer color. It's not like a fall color. I feel like it's a perfect, just like every day, your lips but better lipstick. So that was a little impromptu add on because I wasn't gonna mention her, but this has like seriously been the color that I've worn the most in September and so far in October. Last but not least, I've never worn this shade. I wanna be bougie and I wanna wear this shade and I love the packaging. Again, it is a mini lipstick. Look at how cute that is. This is Tom Ford. I received this as a sample or I think my husband did when he ordered something from Nordstrom, but this is Scarlet Rouge. Oh, but it's a really pretty color. Oh my God. It's like red, kind of like a little orange. Oh, that's so pretty. That is just like a face brightening red. Ooh, uh. all right, let's pair this with a lip liner. Cause honestly, I think I'm going to wear this for the remainder of the day. What do we want to do here? What about up and down tan? Yeah, let's go up and down tan. Wow. Uh. Look at how bright my lips look. I feel like that just like brightened my entire face. Oh, 
Hello, I did not swatch this for you, but let's do that. I feel like I must bring this shade to Napa. It is so pretty. It's kind of like corally looking, but it looks so dark in here. I don't know, but I feel like this is a good any time of the year lipstick, but definitely fits within my moody little vibe. But let me know down below in the comment section, what is your favorite kind of lipstick to wear? Are we still loving nudes? Do we like a lip gloss? Do we like a traditional lipstick? Any of us wear liquid lipsticks? I really want to know. I just, I want to talk about lips. If there's one thing I don't feel like I can ever have enough of, even though I definitely have enough, it is lipstick. I just feel like lipstick is that one thing that you can change on a day-to-day -day basis. My kind of makeup is I express myself most through my lipsticks. So like on a given day where I'm feeling like sassy and confident, I go for like a reddish lip like this. I just feel a little bit too timid in the peachy pink nudes. I just, that's not a space that I want to be in. I feel like, again, my lipstick reflects my life, how I'm feeling is like my way of expressing myself and I'm just feeling a little bit feistier. I'm feeling like I wanna live my life a little bit more boldly and unapologetically and that's how I want my makeup to translate. And I know this might sound crazy. For those of you who are into beauty, for those of you who are just like girly girls, I feel like, you know, you get me. And I don't really need to explain it, but let me know. What kind of lip are we loving? Is there a specific lipstick that you're loving? A color that you're loving? Is there a new lipstick that I need to test out? Now keep in mind, I love a traditional lipstick. I love lip gloss. I normally like more hydrating things. I definitely was a bit more exclusive in the lip gloss department during the spring summer. And now I am just loving like the sexy, there is nothing sexier. And I say this all the time in terms of makeup than a lipstick bullet. A brand new lipstick, oof, oof. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did and you like lipstick videos like this, be sure to give it a big thumbs up down below. This way I know you like it and I can create more videos like it. If you're not yet subscribed and you enjoyed this, be sure to subscribe. Come join my little family here on the internet. I love you guys so much. I hope you have a beautiful day, a beautiful night, whenever it is you are watching this. And I really hope to see you in my next one. Bye guys. Mwah.